Okay, this is the second tutorial on circles for section 5.1. We were working on already looking at uh, two examples of give, uh, working with circles in standard form and finding the centers and radiuses of these circles. The third type of example is given a general form of a circle, can we find the radius and, and the center? Well, in this form, it's, it's difficult to tell uh, what the radius might be and what the center point is going to be. So what we have to do is we have to organize it and change it into its standard form. So I'm going to put this on a fresh piece because this is a longer type question. So the question was again 2y squared plus 2x squared minus 12x plus 8y minus 12 equals 0. Okay, so we want to take this down and we want to make it into its standard form. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to complete the squares for the x points and the y points. So we're going to group the x squared and the x together first. So that would be 2x squared minus 12x here. We're going to group the y's then next. Remember these have to be the same to be a circle. The coefficient in front of the y squared and the coefficient in front of the x squared. So this is plus 2y squared plus 8x, or pardon me, y. And then I'm going to bring the 12 to the other side. So that negative 12 will become positive 12 over here. So we add 12 to both sides. Okay, that's what we're doing first. Then what we do is we have, in order to complete the square, we have to take out and divide everything by the number that's in front of the x and y squared. So we're going to divide everything by 2. So dividing by 2, we've got x squared minus 6x. Then we have y squared, plus y squared, pardon me, uh, plus 4y. And then, of course, 12 divided by 2 is just 6. Okay, so now we have it in the sense that we don't have a large coefficient in front of the x and y square number uh, values and we can complete the square for each of these parts here. Now remember when you're completing the square, you're going to be adding numbers in, so you have to be careful that you make sure you keep uh, equating the numbers and keeping it equal on both sides of the equation. Okay, so that's what we'll do next. So in order to complete the square, you take half of the number that's with the non-squared term and square it, and that's what you add in. So x squared, half of negative 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So this is negative 6x plus 9. Plus y squared, okay, half of 4 is positive 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So it's plus 4y plus 4. Okay, we added on both sides there, we added a 9 and a 4 on the left side, so we need to add the 9 and 4 on this side. Otherwise, we're changing the equation. You know, earlier when we divided by the 2, we didn't change the equation at all because we divided both sides by 2. Same thing here, we added uh, the same value to both sides, 9 and 4 being 13 to both sides. So now we change this into the, to its factored square. So we take this and we go, that's x minus 3 all squared. And when we take this, we go, well, that's y plus 2 all squared. And then we combine all of these numbers here. So that's 19. So there is our circle equation in standard form now. Now we can analyze it because we know what each of the representative uh, terms would be. Here's our h and k, there's our r squared. So for our center, okay, h is negative 3, so opposite of that, it's going to be 3, because there's a negative 3 in there, and positive 2, so it's going to be 3, negative 2 for the center, h and k. And then the radius, that's simply going to be equal to r squared equaling 19. Work that out by rooting both sides. r is equal to the root of 19. And we'll just leave it in root form in this case here. 
just make sure that's in our field of view. Okay, so that is how you would go about uh, producing a information of where the radius and center of a circle are based on starting with the general form. Now, they have a little bit of a summary on page 179 of our textbook. If you're interested, and it summarizes what the forms of them are, are and how uh, the equations for circles work. In our next tutorial, we'll be jumping into looking at uh, section 5.2, which is dealing with the parabola.